today I'm gonna teach you how to connect a Kaser compressor I think your Siemens PLC and how to get how to do a mapping on the values that you have on the Kaser. The first thing to do is you need to buy the adapter, a Profinet adapter for your Kaser Sigma. Uh, we call it SAM. Uh, the Kaser have this system. You can automatically track the energy cost and all the stuff. So first thing to do is, like I said, you need to have the Profinet adapter. You can purchase it directly to your direct supplier for Kaser. And once you have that, as for the GSD file, so you can have, so you can add to your hardware configuration. Here I already installed the GSD file. So once I have the GSD file, you can take all the data. I have the 128 bytes of input and 64 bytes of output. Once you have, you need to have the the process map, the list. <coughs> for example, zero point zero is for the compressor is on, and compressor is on the running. The load running. If it's in idle or if it's in alarm. I already map it. Like for example. I have the put it on a DB I take the values the input one is the run the idle is 0 0.4 and the load run is 0 0.3 I have here the mapping how I transfer it simply I just move the value going to my DB so 68.3 status for load run 68.4 is for the idle you can see I move the value I W70 uh, proofing it for the pressure okay. pressure so I can get the values to bar convert Divide the since it's millibar, you can convert to bar, and I can convert as well in psi by dividing to 69. So let's go online. Here's the value for the bar, the value on this side. You can see. Eight bars here. And 119 on this side. The status here, I move the value to one. And one is. Value is one it's loading once it's 
which is set point will idle okay now we can idle now we can drop to to drop the pressure and it will start loading so it's very easy 